hi everyone it's felix here and welcome to my channel so in this tutorial we are going to learn how to build a virtual image drag and drop system we are going to start this from scratch so stay tuned and you are going to learn how to build this from ground up to this end so throughout this video you will learn how to do everything you will learn how everything is done and probably you could improve upon this to build your own project so stay tuned all right guys so before we write some code here is the image we'll be using an image of Elon Max and this is the image we we'll drag on our webcam feed so now we'll go ahead and import our libraries we need for this particular project. So we're using two libraries, the CV zone and the OPCV library. So I'll go ahead and just import those libraries now. Okay, so now we imported the CV zone library. So you can see we are importing the hand tracking module from the CV zone library. And also we are importing the OpenCV library as CV here. So the next step now is to get our feed from the camera. So I'll go ahead and do this because we've done this ton of times in previous videos. I'll explain, but I'll go ahead and do it real quick before I explain. Okay, so this is the bare minimum code we need to get our feed from our webcam. So first, we are initializing a capture object, which is cv.videocapture. Then we pass in zero here to grab the particular camera we want to work with. So in case you have many cams connected to your computer, you have to just tweak this number from zero, one, and so on to get a particular camera you want. Then we are taking our feed continuously so initialize a while loop so while one which is the same as while true we are using one as a boolean then we are taking our image it was cap dot read then here we are just showing it cv dot i am sure function we are showing our image then we are waiting for each second so we can run this now to see whether everything works correctly all right guys and this mean you're free so everything is working now, we will continue. And the next step is to bring in the image you want to work with. So we'll quickly read in this image using the OPCV IM read function. So I'll go ahead and do that. Which is equal to CV IM read. We have to pass in the name of the image. So it's Elon. So after reading in this image, we have to go ahead and resize it because it's very big and it will take much of our webcam feed screen. So we'll just go ahead and resize it to a smaller size. Okay, so we went ahead and resized it to a size of 150 by 150. So you can resize it to any size you want. But I think 150 by 150 works great. And that's it for now. Okay, so the next step is to get the shape of this image. And you see how we use that for in a second. So we can get our height, our width, and the number of color channels, which we are not going to use. So that's C is equal to our image dot shape. Okay, so this gives us the shape of our image. And what we can also do here is to initialize a predefined position for our image. So we can call that X and Y. So we'll give it X and Y position. We can start it from let's say 100 by 100 so that's where we we'll put it on our webcam feed and now how can we put our image which is the image we've read now on our webcam feed so that's what we are coming to do next and guess what it's very simple to do 
so just as array slicing we we'll slice the image on our webcam feed so you can see image then we will slice it from our x so let's start from our y to our y plus the height of the image then we do the same for the width so we we'll start from x and we have x again plus our width of the image and all this is equal to our image so with this done we can run this and check whether we we'll get our image laid on our webcam feed okay guys so this is working great you can see yellow box the picture here in our webcam feed so it's working great let's continue okay so we've done this so now let's get our hand tracking on so let's use the hand tracking module from the cv zone package to get our hand so i think i'll come here and initialize the hand tracking so let's say hg is equal to our hand detector and this takes in uh, the normal of hands or yeah that's mode max hands so you can give it the max hands or max hands i don't think it's important because we are not going to use it you just want to use as many hands as it can detect but you can restrict that by just specifying the number of hands you want to use and now how do we detect our hands so in the while loop here we can just say hd dot find hands and in here we pass in our image and specify the flip type to be false okay so we are passing our image in the find hands function and this function returns us with the hand whether it has found any hands and also gives back our image so at the end it will take an image and see whether it will see any hand in that image process it and retain us with the hands and the image on which it has found the hand so we can run this to see whether it's working but before that we can go ahead and flip our image here so you can see our image is equal to cv.flip we pass in our image and flip using one by default i think is zero so we can pass in one there and let's run this to see we can get our hands being tracked Hola, and you can see my hand up and it's tracking it correctly so this is the right hand indeed you can raise the other one which is the left hand and it's tracking it as well so now we'll continue so okay now we've got our hand tracking working so the next step here is to get the fingers we want to work with so we have to be able to track our thumb and our index finger to work with so anytime we bring it like this then we know okay we are clicking so how do we get that so we have to first check whether we are detecting a hand so we can come here and we say if hands that means if we are detecting hand then we have to we'll go ahead and get that hand so we can say okay let's get a landmark so we can say lm list or lm list let's just call this lm is equal to our hands at in the zero and in the key of lm list Wow, this no, this LM list. So this is a Python dictionary. Is this zero or oh? Let me change it as zero. And now we can go ahead and print this LM to see whether we are getting anything from there. Okay, let me maximize here so that we can write everything. So let's run this and check. 
okay guys so as you can see immediately i raise my hand we have a lot of numbers as a python list or array in array so you can see we have a lot of numbers let me scroll down yeah you can see when a hand is detected we are getting a landmark list of our hand so when i raise this the same thing we are still getting there so now we have to be able to get the points for the thumb and our index finger as well so let's get those ones and then we can see how we can click and drag our image or drag and drop our image so i think we can comment this so before we can click and drag we have to also get the distance between these two fingers the thumb and this finger we have to get a distance between them so that when we bring them closer we know okay we have closed it and we have a function for doing that so we can just this function returns as with the length Let's spell length also gives us the info which we are not going to use and returns us with the image so this is we use our hand detector and now we'll find distance so we want to find the distance between the lm at index 8 and the lm at index 8 is our what index finger so and since it's an array we can slice from 0 to the second one which is 2 and we'll do the same thing for our thumb so we can say ln and the key also the thumb is 4 and we'll also slice it from 0 to 2 since it's returning image then we have to pass in our image and that's all so let's go ahead and print the length to see So let's print it and see. Let's run this. Okay, so you can see it's 80. Let me raise this a little bit. So immediately I raise my hand. You can see when I'm opening it, it's 170. When I bring it close, you can see it's 20, 12, and so on. So maybe when we send this hand to where this image is and we click and the distance is or the distance falls between a certain threshold, then we can say okay, we've clicked and then we can drag our image successfully on our webcam feed so let's go ahead now and get our cursor and click then we can drag it so this is the final step now and it is pretty much easy so let's go ahead and do that okay so we've gotten the length and what we can do is that we can maybe see if this length is less than certain threshold so let's say if it's less than 20 that means we click on the image so if it's less than 20 then we have to get our pointer so our pointer is the lm list at index 8 and i told you earlier that our lm list at index 8 is this finger so we've gotten that finger and now we have to also check whether that finger is at the middle of our image so we can only drag if this finger is in the middle of our image and we have also clicked so if these two conditions are true then we can change the position of the image or we can drag and drop this image so let's go ahead and do that so we can say if our ox is less than our pointer in the index of 0 which is the width or the x and it's also less than our same ox plus our width and we'll do the same thing for the height too. so i'll just copy this and format it well okay so end so instead of os now we say oy 
in plus height instead of width. So if this condition is true, if our OS is less than our pointer in the key of zero, so here should be one. Then we can go ahead and drag this image. So to drag it, you can see our X and our Y, which we have, we have defined. So we've defined S and Y, which is the position, default position of our image. Now we are going to change it accordingly because we've clicked. Bring this down because we've clicked and also we've gotten our pointer in the region of the image. So we can see now our what pointer at in the zero or x axis. We subtract it from our width and we divide it by two because we want the middle and we want it to be an integer, so we use double division sign so that it will be an integer because you can use floating points here and you do the same for the height so the pointer at index 1 we also divide it by 2 by 2 ok so let's subtract it from the height minus the height divided by 2 also and I think this is all we need. This is all we need. This is not an error, I think, for matching issues. This is all we need to move our image or to drag and drop our image. So we can run and test this to see whether everything works correctly. So let me run it. Okay, so I'll raise my hand, send it to where the image is, close it. Okay, I'm putting an error. So let's see what the error is. Name error OS is not defined. Oh, okay, so that's X and Y, so not OX. I thought I did it origin S and origin Y, so it's X and Y rather. Let's run again. Okay, so I send my hand to the image, click. And wow, this is just moving smoothly. So I can leave it here and it stays there. So this is the fun part of it. Because this is very simple to do. Less than 31 lines of code or 31 lines of code. We are able to achieve this. Just bring your hand to the middle of the image. You click and you bring it. You leave it at wherever you want it to be. So this should be in the region of your feed. In case I want to take this out of the feed, we'll get an error. So let me try that. Let's see. So you can see we got an error. And to fix the error, you can just use try or accept block to fix that. But I think this is working fine already. And this is also easy to do. So this is how simple it works. If you guys have some questions related to this, you can put it in the comment section. I'll be more than glad to answer. And also, if you need a code for this, kindly comment. I'll put it on GitHub. Then you'll get access to it all. So thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do your best to subscribe, share, and like. And up until then, I'll see you in another tutorial.